Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa and this is the awesome Overwatch community coaching series that is known as Overanalyzed. And today we are going to take it back to the old school. There's no camera, mainly because my camera is actually not plugged in and I'm moving it around and whatever, but we'll forget about that. What we're going to do is we're going to use the pen as we used to do back in the past. You guys remember it. You love it. You, uh, 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 it it's not working. <laughs> Where's the pen? No. Hang on. There it is. Okay, it is working. I'm an idiot. There we go. It works. Awesome. So we're going to use that. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, but also, we're going to break everything down. Now, the one thing I do say about Overanalyzed, and by the way, guys, if you want to send your video clips in for consideration to appear on the show, then do go to the link in the video description below or just go to unitlost.com forward slash overanalyzed and submit away. However, what we're going to do in this video is break everything down. We're going to be looking at positioning. We're going to be looking at getting value. We're going to be looking at ability usage. We're going to be looking at synergies. We're going to be fighting underneath Reinhardt's feet. Yeah, and we're also going to be doing, um, you know, anything you can think of. Ultimate tracking, when to engage, when you shouldn't be engaging. All of this stuff is what we're going to look at in this video. All right, then. So before we get into this, I'm just going to read you guys off the email. And it says, hey, Stylosa, huge fan, by the way. And by the way, this is a 2,540 rated game. It is in plat. It's very kind of borderline plat. Um, but there's a ton of issues in this game, and there's a ton of issues with this player's play. So we will be looking at the Reinhardt player. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you guys are not Reinhardt players or tank players. You will still learn a lot from this because you'll get to see the sort of methodology, the way you should be approaching the game, and all of those kind of good things all wrapped into one. And that's what we're going to be looking at. And it will just develop your Overwatch brain, the way you play Overwatch, and everything else. It will just help. It'll, it'll be really awesome. So... This is what it says. Hey, Stylosa, huge fan, by the way. I love playing Ryan and main tanking, and I felt like I was doing everything I could to make space for my team in this game. Not that medals matter, but I was sitting on gold medals the whole game. I realized some decisions I make aren't smart. I played as best as I could. However, two of my teammates in voice chat, my Zarya and my Ash, Sombra Junkrat, were telling me that I was absolutely awful, so much so that I had to leave voice chat. I felt like I had no synergy with my Zarya, who seemed to be more of a passive player while I'm very aggressive Ryan player. I tried my best to adapt to his playstyle to no avail. If you could give me some pointers, that would be great. I have been climbing a lot, but there are times when I wonder if my gameplay is really as bad as my teammates say it is. I would love to see some constructive criticism that you might improve my play. All right, then. That's fine. Let's do it. So we're taking a look at Cloud. We're just going to jump straight into this. Let's see what happens. So... He's got an issue with Zarya synergy. It's always going to be an issue, this is. Um, Zarya Reinhardt is actually really strong right now, mainly because Zarya is, like, super strong. She just is really, really strong, really good DPS. She works with all of the viable main tanks at the moment, although it must be said, Arissa is actually pretty okay. Um, with the, the buff to Arissa's projectile speed, she's actually kind of viable. Uh, however, we're going to be looking at Reinhardt here. So there's a couple of things we're going to be looking at, and it's going to be, like, the way you play with your Zarya and the way your Zarya uses the bubbles. And I feel you might be a little bit overly aggressive because that's the kind of gist I'm getting from your email. Okay, so we eat a fire strike. We eat one back at them. We get bubbled when we kind of really didn't need the bubble then, but that's fine. There's not too much we can do about that. We're sort of holding the front line. Yeah, you, your sensitivity seems really weird. Like, I don't know what's going on here. This is really weird. Uh, but that's fine. Oh my God, this is super weird. Um... Yeah, so a lot happened there, and it was not great. None of it was great. None of it was great. All right, look at this, right? Let's pause the game. So let's just take a look at what the enemy team have got. We know what they've got, right? I, in fact, I can draw on the screen. Oh, my Lord. So they've got a Zarya, yeah? They've got a Reinhardt. This is exactly the same as us. So this here is sort of like it's a mini little game where it's us versus them, right? And who will win? This is the big question. Like, who can, who's going to take this? How do we win this? Well, it's dead simple, right? We want them to use their bubbles, and after they use their bubbles, we want to kill them, right? But also, what we don't want to do is throw our fire strike into them when we know they could bubble or when their bubbles are up, which we did see before we actually got this, like literally 10 seconds before this, you yeeted the fire strike into the enemy team, uh, even when they had the bubble in play. So not great. Look at this Reinhardt. He's one HP. And I think you, I don't know whether you realize that you could have pushed forward on that Ryan, maybe, maybe got another hit on him. He did get bubbled. It would have been okay. Now, one of the issues we've got with the bubble is... You really, really, really need to be in communication with the Zarya. Now, there is a certain level of the game where you will get to where the Zarya's will just start like, they won't instantly bubble you before a fight begins. They'll wait a little bit, then they'll bubble you, then you can go into the fight. And all of that's totally fine. Uh, also, our Anna is using Nano Boost, so we should be okay here. I think she's Nano the Zarya. Uh, we should be okay, hopefully. Mm, it's going to be close. Um, but yeah, let's just take a look at what happens in the next engagement, because 
you kind of like... Mm, it's, it's a weird one. All right, so we're going back to the fight. We've got a barrier up. I mean, we're losing this fight. It doesn't actually matter. Like, that's actually a good result for us. So we just die here. It's fine. So out of all that play there, I'm not too sure you were super at fault. Now, there are things we could have picked up on, like what were you doing with your fire strike at the start of the game? I do prefer it if you try and fire strike the door or maybe try to fire strike like through the choke and then reset back to the hotel position which you began in, which actually was a good position, and then go for another fire strike. Just avoid throwing fire strike into, you know, bubbles. See, like throwing it through here, it's odds on they were going to bubble. We got a bubble as well. And it feels like what we're doing is we're not really managing when we can be aggressive with bubbles and when we can't be aggressive. And I think you're trying to force the issue a little bit too much. So let's see what you do here with this. Now, we've lost that ash. There's not much we can do about that. Yeah. So this is actually super bad. So this is super, super bad. So we can watch this and we're going to slow this down. And actually, I'm going to disconnect from you here because we're going to need to take a look at this because this is super, super bad. So watch this, right? We're going to move forward as Reinhardt to secure the space, which is fine. We're going to play on the edge of the bookshop, which again... This is a fine position. Like, to be set up here is actually totally fine. Like, I don't mind that. That's that's standard uh, Reinhardt play. One of the problems we've got is we notice our Ash on the high ground. We can see her there. She's about to get her brains blown out, which is unlucky. It's a good shot by the Widowmaker. There's nothing we could do about that. Like, our Ash is trying to peek the Widow. It's not clever. She gets killed. This is the problem I've got, right? Look at the picture here, right? Look at everything which is happening. So if we really zoom out right here and we take a look at the, the picture here. So I'm going to... Like, this is going to look stupid as soon as I highlight this. So, you're here. There is Zen and Zarya. And there is your Junkrat. Now, where is our primary main healer in all of this mess? Is Anna here? Does Anna have line of sight to us? She doesn't. What we're walking into is a Widowmaker up there. Um, the enemy Mercy there. Two of the enemy players there. The main tank there. The off tank there that we've just walked into. And we're taking melee damage. So, we're taking melee damage from here. Let's just clear this up. So we're taking melee damage from this way. We're taking massive beam damage because this area we can see is supercharged. So we're taking a load of damage here. This front line, or well, this here, there is no front line because we've just ran in. This was not the time to be aggressive. Now, I feel like this is actually going to be a really good game because I always talk about being super aggressive uh, and then trying to rein in your aggression over time. And I think this is the key moment now in your development as a player where we need to just be less aggressive. Here, we should have just played. We should be here, right? We should have let these guys get aggressive. You know, the payload's moving through here. And one thing I've got to say as well, streets phase on King's Row, it doesn't matter if you lose this because you're expected to lose it. The only place you can hold is at this choke here, really, or right before they actually manage to cap the point. Now, I think what you're trying to do here is force the issue. Like, right, guys, I'm going forward, but you're not actually taking stock of what your team are doing behind you. And this means you've got no support and it means you're going to die. doesn't matter if you get bubbled, which you kind of did, but like at the wrong time, I guess. None of that matters because look at this. We're totally out of position. We're dead. Now, this means the rest of our team are, are royally screwed. Yes, we've lost Zarya. Uh, we've lost uh, Ash, sorry. Zarya's about to get killed. Maybe no, maybe she gets out. That's actually a really nice sleep. Uh, the Zarya's just going to be pushing forward. But again, the thing is here, it's such a... I mean, look, at, look where you are. It's going to take a long, long time to get back to the fight. We should not have died. Now, I know this is a massive meme. You know, I always talk about value. We need to be getting value from every situation. You got no value from that situation because you literally fed yourself to the enemy team. And you did the worst thing you can do in Overwatch, which is die. Do not die. Dying in Overwatch is, is criminally bad, right? Sometimes you can't help it, but yeah, try not to die. Okay, so we're playing. I do like the way you're playing with the terrain. You, you know, using the wall. Uh, apologies for that. I think that was my WhatsApp. I totally apologize for that, guys. I forgot to turn it off and I actually got now I'm in the game. Professional. All right, we've been nano boosted. Uh, Riptide's gone in. Okay. Fine. So our team have used a bunch of ultimates. This is clean up. I don't mind it. Your, your sensitivity is super weird to me. I don't know what's going on. It's like really jittery. This doesn't matter. Whatever. They're disengaging. So now we want to get back to our team and we want to take up a good defensive position, which is basically the bookshop again. You can see where the payload is. Here. Exactly where we are is where we want to play. We can consider throwing just launch fire strike. Okay. This, this I don't like. We're going to pause this. This I really, really don't like. Again, this is a problem. So when I look at your email and you tell me that the Zarya player and uh, the Anna, no, the uh, Junkrat player were not exactly happy with uh, the way you were playing. Uh, it's this. You have literally just fed your brains out here. It is like, it's crazy to me that you've just done this. Again, look at this, right? Look at the picture unfolding. We zoom right out here. Look at this, right? So what we've got here, our DPS there, that's fine, right? We've got our main support there. Okay, that's fine, right? We've got a Zarya a little bit further back. I noticed in your email, you were worried saying, I don't think Zarya is aggressive enough, but actually... This is this is the line of aggression. We should not be going past this. In fact, we shouldn't even be there, right? This is the line of aggression. 
This is where we want to stay and we want them to come around the corner and then we want to hit them as a team. What we don't want is to just do this where we're totally disconnected from our team because number one, we've dropped our barrier, which was in good condition and charged in. And this is not a good charge because, okay, we know what they did. They bubbled their, their tank, so we did no damage. We've been hit with anti nade so we're absolutely, like, we're dead. We literally cannot survive this. There's no way our team can keep us alive. Zarya, she can maybe bubble us, but it's only going to absorb 200 damage. And does she even have it available? I'm going to guess probably not. Let's let's just jump onto Zarya because I doubt she's got this available. She will have in one second, but watch it from her perspective, right? You're going to die. You're dead. So she bubbled you. It didn't matter. Now she's like, oh God, there's no front line. And now she's backing off. And this means your team are going to lose this control of this payload. And it's going to be a problem. They're using a lot of ultimates again. But, like, this is going to secure them the, the cap, which is not great. So, what we've seen are two really bad engagements from you where you should have been playing a little bit more defensive. So, I think you do need to be a little bit more um, cognizant of what your team is doing because do not just go in and expect them to back you up when they're just not there. They're not going to be able to do it. And also, overextending with that charge was really, really bad. So, we could be throwing our fire strike around the corner here. We could just be yeeting it in. Uh, what we shouldn't be doing is standing still there. So, actually there... What we've done is, I know, well, and actually, I know, I completely know what we've done. Your email says the Zarya was being toxic to you. Now the Zarya is dead. You were standing still. This is focusing on what this person does. I'm going to, I'm going to be totally honest. Who gives a shit, right? What this person is thinking? Who cares what they're typing in the chat? I don't care about what Zarya is doing. I literally don't care. But what you've done is allow it to affect you. And now you've got a problem where you're like, oh, well, she's dead. But this is a big problem because now she's dead. She is going to be even more toxic, less focused on the game, more focused on every little minor mistake you make. So in this moment here, we're throwing the game. You understand? Don't do it. So now we've got a problem, right? We're a player down. They're getting super aggressive. We just need to play slow like and back off and not get killed. Just keep backing off here. Like we shouldn't really be here anymore. We need to start backing off to our team. If they get aggressive on us here, they could just kill us, which is what they should be doing. So we just back off here, right? We don't look to shatter. We just back off. Okay, so they've invested... They've invested Graviton in our back line. We actually got, like, a kind of okay shatter. A bunch of ultis are getting used here. Our Zen used his ulti, kept alive. Our grab goes in. So I'm going to show you at the end of this how this is actually bad for us. And uh, it's a difficult one. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to pause it. Let it go. So a lot of ultimates were used in that fight. Too many ultimates, right? So that's actually kind of bad. And I, I, I should just kill this out. Okay, let's just let this play out because this is... Uh, okay, big, big rip tire. Okay, fine. So we did get super aggressive there and that's kind of okay. But the point I was making with the ultimates is... A lot of ultimates were used in that fight. You got complete bloodlust and was like, okay, I'm just going to hit these guys with my Earth Shatter. And you shattered straight into Reinhardt's barrier. That's a big problem. Like, we're not outplaying this Reinhardt. He's outplaying us. And that's a major problem, right? We're losing a lot of space. We're getting pushed back. We're trying to make crazy Hail Mary plays that are just not working. Nice pick by Azen. This is the right thing to do here as well. We should be backing off. But we've also, I mean, this Shatter now, it's like we're, we're a player up. But we don't desperately need to shatter them. Like, so I think a lot of players of Overwatch benefit from. Okay, so we don't need to. We didn't need to use this. We didn't need anything other than that nano boost. That nano boost gave us the the license to kill like James Bond to just go forward and kill them. We did not need to shatter them. They could not have escaped us. We could have just run up to them and smashed their brains out. Okay, maybe we would have got put to sleep. Maybe, but it would have done its job either way. We would have pushed them away from the fight. Now this becomes an issue when we're looking at ultimate management of like, okay. Let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, oh, the sound's going to stop when I do this as well, guys, just because the way it's set up. In fact, let me just pause this actually before I do this. So let's take a look at... Um, yeah, so looking at ultimate management, right? We've used our Earth Shatter. Now, okay, granted, we've got a lot of ultimates available. We've almost got this combo available here, which is probably going to be enough to win the next fight because the enemy can't really stop this. They've got nothing that can really deflect it, but probably what's going to happen is we're going to see a nano blade go in. Uh, this is a question mark because if they grab us... We've got the same problem as them, kind of, but we do have Zen. So Zen should be our sort of get out of jail card. If we do get tranced, he should be saving his ultimate 
for this, right? Now, the question is, will he? I don't know. Again, this is a very simple thing. I'd expect the Zen player to be doing that. But the question is, we've wasted our Earth Shatter because we really didn't need it. It was it was too much of an investment. Now, this is the crucial thing I want to talk about. Remember, you are a 2,540 rated player. This is better than average. Now, a lot of people meme on Plat. They're like, oh my God, Plat's so bad. It's such a bad rank. You know, everybody's Plat. Shut up, I don't care. But actually, gold and low gold at that is the average rank in Overwatch. So if you're this, you're actually like a division above the average player. So you're really, really good. Um, but it means you've got to start making better decisions. Now, we've got to focus on how we're going to win fights. Not just the fight we're in, but the fight after that. If we've got our ultimate available, can we use it to basically win the next fight? And do we need to use it at any given moment in time. Whereas in other tiers of the game, you can just sort of blow, blow all your ults and it kind of doesn't matter. But now I'm worried, right? And the reason why I'm worried is they've got a lot of stuff available here to kill us. We've also got stuff available to kill them. So it's not like super bad for us. But remember, I don't care what... Well, I do care what the Reinhardt's doing. I don't care what any of these guys are doing, right? I literally don't care. What I care about is what you're doing to win every single fight. Like, what can you do to increase your odds of winning uh, the fight? And... What you should have done is kept your ultimate available because then you could have looked for an opportunity to use it. And look at the enemy Reinhardt, right? We're now, this actually is something we do need to talk about. So this, uh, so we're on 19%, yeah? Look at this Reinhardt. He's on 69. Now, <laughs> nice. So he knows that um, we've used our Earth Shatter. He should know. So this means he's got an Earth Shatter advantage. So what he should be looking for is, he, well, he basically, you're, un, you're unsynced. So he knows that when he gets his Earth Shatter available, he can pretty much Earth Shatter you without you having the ability to Earth Shatter him. So that will make him super aggressive. So it'll be a very sort of clear signal that he's got his ults ready because he's getting super aggressive. So what I'm going to try and do is bait out Earth Shatter. So maybe I'm going to start swinging my hammer around a little bit, but then bringing up my shield intermittently or bringing it up very fast swinging up, bringing up my shield again, making it look like, oh, what am I doing? And then I bring up my shield because that's the way to bait out the shatter because you need to now get shatter advantage on him, right? It's This is what I really like about Reinhardt. It's, it's so cool. Okay, let's uh, jump back on board with you and uh, get back into this. Okay, so we're not fire striking enough as well. I think that, that Reinhardt, I would say, is outplaying us a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be a massive clown fiesta with alt. We should win this because we've got Trance in play and they're investing a lot of their offensive ultimates, but we've got Trance is actually like the, the... We can go forward here. Like here we can go forward. Go forward and just start killing. Kill kill her, keep going forward. We should keep going forward, but we shouldn't be earth shattering them, right? Outside their spawn. We just want to walk forward. It's fine. Okay. We could have been a little bit more aggressive then, but that's fine. So we're going to play this corner now again. You know, this is sort of okay. But one thing I would do is not necessarily play this corner. What I'd be looking to do is play with the payload, right? So... On the corner here, look at the problem we've got here, right? Now, I think what you're going to try and do is go for a massive shatter here, but I just kind of want to make this point because look at the distance between here, right? It's very short. I like to call these cross-sectional charges, and I really like them as a Reinhardt player because it's short distance. So if this Ryan comes here, sees you poke out here, I'm just, I'm just going to charge you into this here because I'm literally going to be having like shield downtime of about two seconds while I charge literally two meters and smash you into this payload and then i'm just going to start smashing your brains out with my hammer right my team are all going to rush through and protect me that's my play here what i think you're going to try and do here is walk past this guy and shatter the back line now that's interesting and and, and the reason why i'm going to say it's an interesting decision this is me being purely spectacle uh, spectacle uh, uh speculating this because i think this is what you're going to try and do um this thing blocks line of sight. So it's, again, not a great idea to do this. Because if we rush through, smash these guys down, we've only got our Zarya, and then the rest of our team are going to scramble to come around to try and help us. And are they going to be able to do it? I don't know. Um, what I'd be doing is I'd be setting up here, right? Because this, we've just got to use this as a piece of terrain. We want them to come round here. So when they get round here, so this Reinhardt, if he gets over here, then we can, and we're here, we can charge him into the payload. We can charge him into the wall. There's loads of things we could do. He has positional advantage here, and I think that's the, the key thing that I want you to be uh, aware of. So let's just see what you do. I hope you're back up. I, I hope you don't just rush in for, and go for a massive shatter. So we've, we've backed up a little bit. That's fine. Okay, okay. now it's free. Now we can shatter them if we want. We should have shattered them there. Okay. Okay, not, nice, sort of re nice reaction there. Nice. That was, a that was a really, really nice reaction to the Reinhardt. Because you... Okay, bring our barrier up because we don't bob killing us. 
That was a really, really nice reaction. So we don't want to die here. Yeah, so that's not great. But that was a really nice reaction because we heard the hammer down and we instantly brought our barrier up and turned around. I really like that. That's a good reaction. So here, we should not have died, should we? Let's just bring it back and let's play it because uh, we could have just hid behind the payload and we just got crazy aggressive. And Well, we didn't get crazy aggressive. We just let Hanzo kill us and we shouldn't have let Hanzo kill us. It's not going to matter. We still win this fight and this is good play. It's actually a pretty good nano boost as well. So here, bring up our barrier. It's destroyed. We don't need to go forward here. See, we, we went too far forward and then we died, uh, which is not great. We should have been a little bit more defensive, but it won't matter. We're going to win this fight anyway. I mean, this Anna's actually wasting the time here because she's going to die. She'll be next in the kill feed to die or, you know, Ash just falls off the map, but she's going to die unless she gets out. Somehow she's escaped. <laughs> I'm not sure how. <laughs> All right, then. So think about where we can set up the payloads mood so we can actually use the corner here. Also, because the rest of our team are here as well, this actually is, isn't too bad. But as our team is starting to disengage, we've got to be aware of this and we've got to start backing off. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent counter charge. I like it. Excellent counter charge. So we just want... While he's nanoed, we don't want to go in and take him on, right? We just wanted to play safe and you played that perfectly. I really like that. Good play. We can fire strike through this. Just just eat the fire strike and that's it. Because it's going to give us a lot of alt charge. Um, you've got to be aware that fire strike is your... It's sort of your alt charge thing and we're going into overtime here. So we're just looking to use all of our ultimates as soon as we've got them. Walk through him and shatter the back line. Great. Fine. Great. Excellent. Great. Great. So that was good. So it was a little bit shaky sort of up until the very like, last few minutes of the game, I think, there. Um, the problems I think your Zarya player has got with you is you did throw two engagements. Now, we're, I'm just going to pause this here because I need to go and show you like where we hold on King's Row. Now, if we take a look at this uh, area here, right, and I'm not going to use like the pro meta because you'll see the pros, they will set up here like, you know, if they've got Orissa or sometimes the pros even hide in the build. In the There's like loads of stuff, right? But we're just going to talk about where you would be, uh, you know, as a generic setup in this game. So you play here, right, as the Reinhardt. Now, some things you could do to begin with is you could chill here and just launch a fire strike through here. Uh, you could even go here and chuck one through, but you'd have to be, you know, charging back to get out. Um, this is fine. And if they've got a Diva, she's going to eat it. We've got a Zarya, you're going to give a charge, but you are going to get ultimate charge from doing it. I, I, I'm not really too fussed. So if you did fire strike from here, you'd relocate to here. As they walk around the corner, you could fire strike them again. Uh, but be aware, are they using bubbles? Is the Reinhardt bubble? Is there a Zarya? If they don't have a Zarya, then it's just free reign. Well, I guess Sigma could stop it as well. But you're just fire striking straight through here to just try and you know, cause damage to them, get yourself alt charge. But then you're playing here, right? And it depends what the enemy do. Do they come this way? Do they go around here? Do they go in here? Or do they go around here? Now, normally, they're going to go here or they're going to go here or they go uh, around here, right? So we just adapt our positioning based on what they're doing. And then we just play the game from there. I can't go into any more detail than that because, well, we don't know what the enemy team are doing. It's just a standard positional sort of sell. All right, so let's move back. The next place you can hold them after they take that point, if we look at this area here, is we can hold, uh, let's just get rid of that. If you can hold here. So you basically hold the choke. Um, you can hold here at the bookshop. Uh, sometimes you can hold here, but this generally isn't that great just because the enemy can do all kinds of stuff like they can get right behind you it's a mess right they can come around here there's a lot of things they can do so we can hold either here we can hold either here we can hold here or we literally hold on the point here that's it but what you did is you threw this <laughs> you threw this uh and then here they just kind of pushed it through so we didn't even get a chance uh well no we kind of did get a little bit of a chance to contest there but you threw these two fights there is a world where you didn't throw these fights and we actually hold them here and then instead of this, two caps and we like the payloads over here, we actually hold them here. And this is massive because then, look at like, we only need to cap this point and then push it through and we win. And, and that's the key thing when it comes to Overwatch. It doesn't matter what your teammates are doing. It doesn't matter like all of that stuff. Like you've just got to focus on yourself. And I think you've got a little bit carried away in this game. You've been a bit focused on uh, what Logic, the Zarya player, uh, I believe has been telling you. And also the, the Ash player. Uh, or the Junkrat player. So let's jump forward again because now we're on attack. It's a, a different game altogether. And we've got a, a Sombra. Now, um, oh, do we still have a Sombra? We do have a Sombra and we've got a Reaper. So just look at your team comp here. What does your team comp say here? The team comp says Reinhardt, Reaper, Zarya. We want to go in. And we've also got Anna for big healing. And, and the Zen is obviously going to apply Discord Orb. This is an in-your-face build. We just want to get into their face. Sombra? Hopefully, she gets in there and hacks people. I always find Sombra a little bit difficult to play with. How is that upside down, that tea time spray? 
What? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so we're out the door with uh, barriers up. It's fine. That's okay. Zarya would have got a bunch of charge. Uh, the Junkrat's got a bunch of stuff, whatever. So here, right, look at this, right? This is what I was hoping would happen. Can you see the... Can you see this? The Sombra. So the Sombra here is is the engage, right? We're waiting for a really good hack. And she could hack their Reinhardt and give us like an absolute free reign to just get in there. Problem is, this is Ladder. And this person might not be in voice comms. We don't know what they're going to do, right? So while we can wait for them to do something, it's sort of like what I would do is... Well, if I was playing, there probably would be in voice comms. But what I'd do is I'd sort of skirt around the statue. You know, I'd, I'd maybe move forward a little bit here. Maybe I'll go around the side, you know potentially go into the hotel but it would be probably like here is my primary and here is my secondary well probably let's say let's, let's swap those around right it would probably go like that so yeah i'd be waiting for sombra to do something right and if she doesn't we're we're slowly encroaching forward to the enemy and then we're going to make a decision like do we need to engage right but sombra is sort of like as weird as it sounds the engage okay so we're going to play the statue are we? okay so we're just going to walk forward so as sombra has she hacked anyone maybe she has that i don't know but she did go in She's been killed, but you've done the right thing. You actually wait for her to engage, and then we've gone in. We need to actually play a little bit more defensive here. Give our healers a chance to heal us back up. Azaria didn't play very well there. Now we just back off. We back off. We back off. Uh, counter charge, great. We back off. We, no, no, no. We back off. We back off because we're going to die. So there is a world where you survive that because you back off, and you just keep backing off. I mean, look who's behind us, our Anna. Um, we could have been here with her. It's still alive. Getting ready for the next push. Now, what I did like about all of that is you did wait for your Sombra to sort of do something. Sombra, I don't know what she did. She just ran into the enemy team. Not great, not ideal. She should have been on the high ground hacking somebody or, or something, which she didn't. Whatever. So, all right. So, we're going to move forward again. Fire strike through. Move around a statue. I like it. I respect it. And Reef is just sort of rushing in. We're trying to take control of space, which I do like. They're using ultimates. Okay. Uh, Coalescence generally. Okay, this is not good. We're dead. He's going to counter charge us. Okay, he didn't. Uh, I don't know. This could be big, actually. I'm going to shout that. Might get a big rip tire here. Oh, it's their Junkrat, so no. Uh, we did get a big Death Blossom, though. So this still it could be winnable. I think Reaper's going to kill everyone here. So I'm not I'm not entirely... Like, the only thing I didn't like in all of that play was the initial charge. Like, look at this, right? The rest of it I liked, right? But the, the charge was just... It, you're so exposed, because all that needs to happen... I mean, you'll see it from this angle. It'll look really silly. Because all he needs to do is turn around and get you. And uh, so here, look at this. Why would we ever charge from there? Like, that is just crazy. Like, charging from here, it's... Anna's going to have a heart attack. Azaria is going to be like, oh, my God. If we got the guy, right, then fair enough. We didn't. He got knocked back. And he kind of was charging. So maybe he would have countercharged us. Reinhardt interaction is kind of a bit dodgy. But even if we got him, we're going to be, like, in the back here. Now, this is uh, a problem because our team are miles away from us. There could be line of sight getting blocked with the telephone box, and we just get killed, right? It, it was just not great. We should have just walked forward and just took the space. It's just a big death blossom, yeah. Our Reaper just walks and gets her. I mean, still, you know, a good opportunistic play by Reaper. But yes, that was very desperate. It was kind of like, I'm going to make the charge, and then I'm going to get the Earth Shatter. I mean, I agree with the Earth Shatter. It was a big... There's a lot of target sets. The good old fatty shatty uh, and Reaper could have comboed with it, which he kind of did a little bit slow. Um, but it was just that initial charge, which left us really open to their Reinhardt could have just countercharged us and it would have been a problem unless we did get the nano boost. This I like, you know, there's no need to be super aggressive here. We need to cap. Now we've got the point. We can be aggressive here. We can push forward and get that Reinhardt. So you're being a little bit, you know, we should be more aggressive here. We should be pushing right up, getting right up there. Like he's been hacked at Reinhardt. We know he's been hacked. We can see the alt icon on his head, which actually, you know, we know he's got his ultimate. We need to be careful of that. He's wasted it. We like that. Okay. Fire strike through that. Barrier up. Barrier up. Get in there. Swing. Okay. Okay. It just seems like there's a lot of indecision there. So as soon as that grab went in, we should have just been fire striking into it and rushing towards it. Okay. Yes, there was a, um, a bunch of other alts going through it and, and whatnot, but... I feel like we just need to be a little bit more decisive with decisions. So here, we need to allow our team to get out the spawn. Junkrat is a nightmare for spamming this. If they back off, it won't be too bad. But we should really be shielding this. Yeah, we need to bring our barrier up and move forward because we don't want any of that spam damage coming through. We could have threw the fire strike to the right-hand side there to get the, um, the Reinhardt guaranteed. Now, do we really want to be getting super aggressive here again? It's a problem. This is a real waste of ultimates from our team. We, so we'd lost this fight and 
you've you've got to be aware as 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 the Reinhardt, you often dictate the like you dictate the aggressive flow of your team. So as you're going forward there, your Anna's thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna like nano my Reinhardt, he's gonna run in and kill everyone and all of this stuff. But actually, what we should have been doing is backing off there because we didn't want to use all of our ults in that fight. It's left us in a bad position. Look at the ult economy of the enemy team. Look what they can do to us, right? They can fire a dragon through us. Okay, we could use Zen to counter that. So that's, uh, you know, Zen could counter the dragon. That's okay. The good thing is that they used this last fight. She's already 20% to another one. Uh, they do have the, the, I mean, I guess they could nano this and there could be a shatter. So this next fight we're going into isn't a guaranteed loss on ultimates. They do have the advantage, but it's something that we can actually control this because we, we, we do not want this guy to earth shatter us and we know he's got earth shatter. He should expect us to have it by now as well. So what we're looking to do is bait it out of him. And, and I think that's what you're trying to do. And I kind of respect that. Okay, that was a nice shatter. But I don't like what you did after it. Because look what's happened. Like, th this is so, so frustrating to me when I see this happen. Because, oh man, it's so frustrating. Because like, me as a Reinhardt player, you, you just don't, you just do not need to do that. But there's no world where you have to commit like that. So here... Right, it's a big shatter, and I like it. But why are we selecting the ch like? Wh our charge here is—I just don't get it. Like, why are we charging in here? Why are we not going for like a shorter range charge here, or, or like charge somebody into the wall there? Even this, I'd be questioning. Like, what the hell? We didn't need to do that. This shatter's good. We could just—I uh, don't know whether you've got fire strike available. I don't think you have actually. I think you used it, right? Uh. No, you did have Fire Strike. So what you should have done is chucked your Fire Strike through this guy and then just started beating the crap out of this Reinhardt, right? You, there's no need to charge because what we don't want to do is give them advantage because what do we know? And what have we known for a long time? We know Reinhardt has got his Earth Shatter because we watched Zarya, uh, not Zarya, sorry, Sombra hack him. And we've seen the icon on his head. It was literally on top of his head. But we should know he's got it anyway because he hasn't used it in ages. So uh, that's a problem for us. Okay, let's... Uh, like, let's just watch from this perspective. Look, our main tank's gone off and got killed. And then they've just wrecked us with... Okay, they've used three ults to kill us. Our Reaper's lost his mind. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's swapping hero. I don't know. But that was not a great play uh, from Reaper. Desperation. It, it's never going to work. No, he just kind of went for it. That's unlucky. But again, don't worry about that. It's like, whatever. We just need to get back and focus on how we're playing. And we didn't actually protect our team there. Which resulted in our team getting wrecked. We didn't try and counter the enemy Reinhardt. We just tried to make a play, and it, it didn't really work out. So again, they're using another ultimate here. Okay, well, we've got trance, so we just go aggressive. Oh my god, what's going on here? This is You need to do something about your sensitivity. It's mental. Look, where are we going? What are we doing? Okay, when you get nanoed, it doesn't mean that you just instantly charge. Like, sometimes nano, you just, just be defensive with it. We've almost got another Earth Shatter as well. I, I love it, man. I love it. Okay, we're dead. Okay, unfortunate. So now it's just about regrouping, right? We're going to lose this pretty heavily, yeah. They're getting ultimates online. Um, we killed that Reinhardt pretty quick in that fight. So I'd be thinking, okay, he probably doesn't have Shatter. I mean, we can tell he doesn't. But if I was in the flow of the game, I'd be like, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I'd be thinking that he probably doesn't. Um, so you've got a free Shatter in this fight. They do have Grab, though, and, and we would be expecting that to come through. So we throw our Fire Strike in. Uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it's obvious what happened there. Again, you did the same thing. Shatter, instant charge. It's... You, you're trying to force the issue too much. Um, there, there is, you know, there is precedent in doing that. And you will get results if you do force the issue sometimes. But you've tried to do it over and over again. You've become... Um, like, we would say you're telegraphing the play. Which just basically means that you are... You're, you're doing the same thing over and over again. And you're very predictable to play against. And I'm not sure whether these players are picking up on that. But I feel like they are. Because they're dealing with your team. Like, look at that. He's just earth shattered our back line. We didn't even, at any point, try and stop that. Like, we have never really, in this game, engaged in a, a Reinhardt 1v1 to try and take the Reinhardt. And it, it's, it's been super weird. And there's no way we're going to get back to contest this, which is unfortunate. But I think if we just pause this, and we go back to the point I was making earlier on, of, you know, what we could have done in terms of defensive positions and where we should have been holding is we could have probably hold them here or, or maybe even held them there but you are playing Reinhardt um you're being aggressive which I do you know I do like aggression because you can actually like being overly aggressive I do like and then it's a case of like trying to learn to be less aggressive see if you're really really passive 
then it becomes mega hard to be aggressive. But you've already got the aggression side down. I just want you to be a bit more conservative. I want you to be aware of where your team actually is before you start going in for engagements. Also, there's going to be a lot of Ryan versus Ryan because Ryan, like I said, is coming into the meta just because Zarya is so strong and they, there's a lot of synergy between those heroes. So this Ryan versus Ryan is going to be a case of like, who can take this? We're looking for opportunities. We're looking for windows where we can expose this guy. Things like when he goes for fire strike, we can shatter him because if as he's going through the, the animation of that, if we're close enough, we can just shatter him to the ground and kill him. That's one example of dealing with it. We need to know when he's got his ult online so we can block it. We can bait it out of him. We need to stop being like crazy and just charging at the start of a fight. Like the only time I'd be okay with you making a mad charge would be, hey, I've, my barrier's destroyed. Like I'm being killed, whatever. I'm just going to charge. Okay, in that case, fine. But if you've still got full barrier and then you're just going for this mad charge, it's a major problem. So I hope this video has helped you anyway. This has actually been really cool. Going back to the old school overanalyzed, less from the uh, face cam style one, which I don't know. Like I think both of these sort of formats of overanalyzed, they work for me. I don't know. Like, do they work for you guys? Let me know in the comments below. And as ever, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it means the world to me. And like the video if it did help you. Subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, you can send in uh, video clips for review uh, over on unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed. And uh, links in the video description below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.